You know, if you're like me and you're a photographer, you're probably always looking for new ideas. So I thought I'd pass along five quick ideas that I've written down over the past few weeks um, in hopes that it'll help you. It, they've helped me out. I've tried a couple of them, and I think I'll try all of them. So let's just get on with it. Uh, number one, photo walks. Now this can be good. It can give you exercise. It can get you out there in the world. Uh, but grab your camera, walk around the block, walk down the road, drive somewhere to a trailhead and, and hike a trail, walk a trail. Um, any kind of a walk with your camera. Um, depending on your health or your circumstances or the weather, uh, maybe a photo drive might be more appropriate. Be a good time to break out your zoom lens. Uh, or if you have a point and shoot camera, you know, use your zoom function. Um, so that's a really good one. In fact, I just found a park I didn't even know about. It's like six blocks from my house. I've lived here all my life. Um, so it's really good to get out there and, uh, you know, go for a walk here and there. Number two um, is a really good one. I think, and I'm going to start this immediately, and that's shapes and colors. So say you went for a, for a walk and you told yourself you were only going to shoot pictures of circular objects or triangular or square um, objects. It can be, you know, in the architecture or something nature, in nature, uh, any number of things. And then you can take the same thing with colors and just shoot pictures of green things or red things um, or, you know, whatever color you choose. That could really uh, be a good thing, I, I think. To, it'll force you to kind of look around at your surroundings, um, focus more on, uh, you know, focus and uh, composition and lighting and stuff like that. So, those are a couple really good ideas, I thought. Um, a couple more are the alphabet. You could take the alphabet, take a picture of something that starts with an A, then something that starts with a B, C, and so on and so forth. Or you could do it backwards through the alphabet. Um, that could be challenging on, on some uh, letters, but Nonetheless, you could always cheat. It's, it's your thing. Um, another uh, way you could look at that is you could take pictures of the actual letters themselves and try to fill the entire frame of the picture with that one letter. You might have to get out a macro lens or use the macro function on your camera. But it would be pretty cool to have every letter in the alphabet in different colors, fonts, and, sh and uh, shapes and that type of thing and uh, you could get creative with that too so that's a couple of ways to look at the alphabet another uh, another idea number four would be a self portrait every day for a year now that might be too much for some maybe every week for a year or maybe every day for a month and see how it goes or whatever but you could start getting creative. You'd soon tire of just taking your picture and maybe you'd want to put on a weird hat or take a picture of yourself soaking wet or in different places or you know with someone else or whatever. Uh, but a self-portrait every day for a year or every day for a month or every week for a year. That's another idea. And then number five is actually a uh, one I hadn't considered until uh, recently, and that is strangers. Take pictures of strangers. Now, it would be a good way to practice your portrait photography. Um, but the best idea would probably be to ask the people their permission to take their pictures. Um, and you could even... Uh, you know, make a friend here and there. Hey, you could also get punched in the nose because you don't want to be looked at 
as a as a voyeur or a stalker. Uh, if you're not a voyeur or a stalker, you certainly don't want to be looked on as one. So, you know, taking a pictures of strangers from a distance uh, or without their permission might not be the best idea, but it is an option. So there's five things, there's five ideas. I thought I'd pass them along. I'd love to hear your ideas if you have them. I'm always looking for ideas. If these helped you out, I'd love to hear about it as well. But especially if you have you if you have some ideas, post them here. I'd love to hear them, and uh, maybe people that are searching for ideas can uh, go ahead and read yours when they're uh, if they watch this video. So, you guys keep shooting. Have a good day. We'll talk to you soon.